You started to study linear equations in middle school. To continue in high school, but now in college you are still confused with linear equation, with quadratic equation. How we can solve them? First of all, it is very important to classify a type of equation using definition. So linear equation has all exponent of every variable equals 1. And there are no product of variables. And gold rule to find solution of linear equation as related variables. Standard form of linear equation ax equals b. Quadratic equation has standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Highest value of exponent of variable equals 2. And you can use factoring or quadratic formula to find solution of quadratic equation. Now practice time. We can find type of every equation. The first equation, 2x minus 6, has variable x, power of this variable equals 1. So it's classical example of linear equation. The second equation, 5x plus 5 equals x minus 10. Variable x as well has power equals 1. So it is linear equation. Next example, we have x times x minus 3 plus 2. If you use distributive property, you will have x times x minus 3 times x. So it gives you x square minus 3x plus 2. We can see equals 0. We can see highest value of exponent equals 2. It is quadratic equation. Next, negative x times x plus 2 minus 3 fifths x equals negative 5. The same situation. You can have here product x times x. You will have x squared. So highest value of exponent equals 2. It is as well quadratic equation. Next example, negative 3x squared plus 2x equals 9. Highest value of exponent equals 2. Quadratic equation. Example f. We have here as well product of exponent. So it would be x times x give you x square. Highest value of exponent would be 2. So quadratic. Next, square root of 5 times t equals 2t plus 7. We can see variable t has exponent equals 1. It is linear equation. Next, we have 7x and we have negative x. Power equals 1. This is 1 and this is well 1. So, linear equation. x squared minus 5x equals 0. Highest value of exponent equals 2. Classical example quadratic equation. Negative 5x times x plus 3. After we can use distributive property, it would be negative 5x squared minus 15x equals 0. Now you can see highest value of exponent equals 2, quadratic equation. Next, x times x plus 3 minus 5x squared. After distributive property, after using of distributive property, we will have x squared plus 3x minus 5x squared. So highest value of exponent equals 2, quadratic equation. Next example, 3x minus 7 equals 5 times 2 minus x. If you use distributive property, 5 times 2 give you 10 minus 5x and we keep left side 3x minus 7 equals you can see variable x has power equals 1 so it is linear equation the first example first of all we have to find type of equation so we can see we have here 5x and after distributive property 2 times 2 minus x, we will have 4 minus 2x. So variable x will have power equals 1. So it is linear equation. So our goal, we have to isolate variables. The first step, 5x minus 3, like we said, distribute 2 minus 2x plus 1. Now we can simplify right side, so it would be 5x minus 3 
equals 5 minus 2x. Now we have to isolate variable. So we can add 2x for both sides of our equation. It would be 5x plus 2x give for you 7x minus 3 equals 5. Now we add 3 for both sides. And we will have 7x equals 8. So now we have to divide it by 7 both sides. x equals 8 sevenths. So we can write answer for our equation. It would be 8 over 7. The second example, we can see highest value of exponent equals 2. So this is quadratic equation. Quadratic. For quadratic equation, we must use factoring or quadratic formula. We will use factoring. For factoring, we must have all variables in one side. So next step, we subtract x from both sides. We will have 4x squared minus x equals 0. Now we can see we have common factor x. So we can write factoring. It would be x 4x minus 1. It is factor form of our equation. Now we will use zero product rule. When product equals zero. When the first factor equals zero, so x equals zero. Or 4x minus 1 equals zero. Now we isolate. We have what? 4x minus 1, it is linear equation. We have to isolate x, so plus 1 for both sides. It would be 4x equals 1. Now divided by 4 gives us x equals 1 fourth. We can write answer. 0, 1 fourth. Example 3. We have as well quadratic equation because highest value of exponent of this equation equals 2. So quadratic. Quadratic. If you forget uh, factoring method, you can use this link to watch video with explanation about that in detail. We will use factoring form. For factoring form, we must have all variables. So we have to write quadratic equation in standard form. So the first step subtract 24 from both sides. It would be t square minus 5t minus 24 equals 0. Now factoring form. Factoring form gives us t plus 3 times t minus 8 equals 0. Now we apply zero product rule. When product equals zero, with the first factor equals zero, so t plus three equals zero, or t minus eight equals zero. So now from the first equation we have t equals negative three, or t equals eight. We can write answer for example three. It would be negative three and eight. Example 4. Example 4, we have variable here x with power equals 1. So x power 1 and x power 1. It is linear equation. For linear equation, we have to isolate variables. So the first step we can see it is linear equation involving fractions. We have to find LSD, the least common denominator. The least common denominator 5 and 25, it would be just 25. So we have to little bit more, clean our given information and we continue. So we have to multiply both sides of our equation by least common denominator 25 and 25. So now we can simplify 25 times 3 over 5, keep x minus 1 equals 25. This is distribu distributive property we have to use. 25 times 1 over 25x plus 2 times 25. Now simplify. 25 times 3 over 5, 
we can simplify it would be 5 here so finally we have 5 times 3 x minus 1 equals this is 25 over 1 so we can cancel out 25 it would be just x plus 50. We remember we have linear equation so we have to isolate x we will use distributive property for left side so it would be 15 x minus 15 equals x plus 50. Next step we will subtract x from both sides it would be 14 x minus 15 equals 50. Now we add 15 for both sides to both sides it would be plus 15 we have 14 x equals 65 now we have to divide it by 14 both sides of our equation and we have answer x equals 65 14 this is our answer set 65 over 14 you can use this link to watch more example of linear equation involving fractions. So we can see our example 5, we have equation 3, p square equals 27. Highest value of exponent equals 2, so it is quadratic equation. For the first step, we can divide it by 3, both sides of our equation. So it would be pi p square equals 9. Now, do you remember, if we have p square equals 9, we have very important formula. x square equals a, with a positive. You can write solution x, 1, 2 equals plus minus square root of a. So, according to this formula, solution of my equation, it would be p equals plus minus square root of 9. Or, p equals plus minus 3. So we have two root, p sub 1, p sub 2. And we can write our answer. It would be negative 3 and 3. Example 6. For example 6, we will use quadratic formula. You can use this link to watch more examples about application of quadratic formula to quadratic equation. Now we can see we have quadratic equation because highest value of exponent equals 2. So do remember we have to write our quadratic equation in standard form. So subtract 2 from both sides. It would be 3c square plus 5c minus 2 equals 0. Now coefficient a equals 3, coefficient b equals 5. Coefficient c equals negative 2. Now we have to find discriminant. Discriminant formula b square minus 4ac. b square it is 5 square minus 4 times 3 times negative 2. So give us 25 and plus 24, 49. Now we can write it would be t sub 1, t sub 2 equals, we remember quadratic formula, it is negative b plus minus square root of d over 2a. So it is equals negative b, it is minus 5 plus minus square root of 49 over 2 times 3. We can simplify a little bit our solution it would be negative 5 plus minus 7 over 6. Finally we have c1 equals negative 5 plus 7 over 6 and t sub 2 the second root we have negative 5 minus 7 over 6. Negative 5 plus 7 give us 2 over 6 or 1 third. Negative 5 minus 7 gives us negative 12. Negative 12 over 6 equals negative 2. 
So answer for this example, it would be one third and negative two. Example 7 and example 8 present quadratic equations. Both left side have factored form. But right side of example 7 has 0. Right side of example 8 has 5. So we can apply zero product rule for example 7. Solution would be like that. So when product equals zero, when the first factor x for our example equals zero or x minus two equals zero. So now we have the first root equals zero. As the second root, we have to isolate x, so x equals two. We can write answer zero, two. Okay, example eight. We don't have uh, zero on the right side, we have five. So we have to write quadratic equation in standard form. We have to distribute x, it would be x squared minus two x equals five. Next step, subtract five from both sides, it would be x squared minus two x minus five equals zero. Now we write a, b, c. So coefficient a equals 1, coefficient b equals negative 2, c negative 5. Now discriminant. Discriminant, we remember formula b square minus 4ac. So b square negative 2 square minus 4 times 1 times negative 5. Give us 24. Now we can write x sub 1, x sub 2 equals negative b plus minus square root of discriminant over 2a. Now we plug in our values. Negative b, so it would be minus, minus 2 plus minus square root of 24 over 2 times 1. We can continue evaluate our roots. So it would be 2 plus minus. We remember from algebra course, what is square root of 24? You can write like 24, 4 times 6. We can simplify, it would be 2 square root of 6. We back to our example, it would be 2 square root of 6 over 2. Now we can cancel out 2. 2, 1 plus minus square root of 6 over 2. Cancel out common factor. We have 1 plus minus square root of 6. Now we can write answer of our example. 1 minus square root of 6 and 1 plus square root of 6. Using this link, you can find more examples about quadratic formula for quadratic equation. Thank you for watching and see you soon.